Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Justin the Light, and I am back for a new series on the channel. Uh, I'm going to be playing Pokemon Soul Silver, except I'm going to be doing a Nuzlocke of it. So yeah, uh, sorry for the long gap. Uh, I've been dealing with some stuff in my personal life, but I am super excited to be back recording uh, for another Let's Play on the channel. Basically, this rule, the rules for this Nuzlocke are going to be the same as the last time. Uh, might as well be scrolling through the menus while... I'm talking about it, so I'm going to nickname each Pokemon, uh, I don't need any info because I've played this game forever. Um, I'm going to be nicknaming each Pokemon, I do have a naming theme, I'll reveal that when the time has come. Um, I'm going to only be allowed to catch the first Pokemon in each route, uh, of course I'll have five dupes, um, basically what that means is if I run into, let's say, I catch a Rattata on a different route, and then are on the first route and then on the second route I run into another Rattata well that goes into my dupes and if I get five Rattata in a row obviously I don't catch anything that goes same for uh, like if I run into Eradicate um, I'm gonna count evolutions too uh, if Pokemon dies I'm gonna get rid of it sorry it's how the game is played especially when you're doing a Nuzlocke um, I'm gonna be a boy because I'm a boy and I'm going to name myself probably just Justin, and I'm also using a mouse as a touchpad, or as a, for the touchscreen, so ignore the clicking as I'm talking. I'm sorry, makes it easier to emulate. Also, do you guys want to see a magic trick? Well, I'll, I'll show you the magic trick when, we'll keep it like this for right now. Are you ready? Am I ready? Your very own tale and grand adventure is about to unfold. Fun experiences and death awaits you. Dreams, adventures, death. Yeah, let's dive into the world of Pokemon. Uh, yeah, there's no item restrictions. Alright, so we're in my room now. Let's go ahead and show you the magic. Ooh, do you guys like that layout? I hope you do, because you're going to be looking at it for a while. So, yeah. Uh, sorry, I hate to break it to you. This is what you're going to be looking at. Because this is the layout. So, I hope you like it. Uh, there's a team thing up in the corner. Oh, level limits. I forgot to talk about level limits. Uh, I'm doing level limits. It's level 13 right now, it's up in the top right corner. I don't know why I'm pointing, because I'm not even looking at it right now. It's not even on screen, it's getting edited and on post. Thanks Justin, you're doing a great job editing. Um, also, uh, do you ever go outside? Yeah, okay, get my bag and my trainer card and all this fun stuff. Um, what was I gonna say? I was gonna say something. I'm really spacey today, so I apologize. Probably not the best day to start a new series, but you wanna know what? I wanted to start this finally. Uh, it was it was about time. It, it it deserves to be started today. But that's beside the point. Um. Oh yeah, I was okay. So for my trainer card or how I pick my starter is I'm gonna look at my trainer card. Um, if I get a one, two, or three, I'm gonna start with Chikorita. If I get a four, five, or six, excuse me, I'm gonna start with Cyndaquil. And if I get a seven, eight, or nine, I'm gonna be starting with Totodile. Zero, I would normally make my choice, but that's boring, so I'm just going to move on to the next one. And whatever that is, well, yes, that's the starter I'm choosing. So, here we go. Let's take a look and see what my starter is. Alright, I got a nine, so I am going to be rocking the Totodile life, which I am actually quite happy about. I will take Totodile every day of the week. Totodile is great. Um, so I, yeah, I'm, I'm more than happy with that. Totodile will be really good. Uh, it's, I, I like Totodile a lot. Uh, Cyndaquil is my favorite starter of all time, but I will take Totodile. Um, well, I, I have already, I've already recorded this, but that footage was messed, got messed up because like I was in the middle of recording the first and the second episode together, and then it just decided, hey, we're gonna freeze. So my, my emulator froze and it was really stupid. So hopefully it doesn't decide to freeze this time. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to figure it out. And yeah. All right, Professor Elm gets a voice. <clears throat> Hello, Justin. I've been waiting for you. Do you know anything about my research? As you know, Pokemon are carried in Pokeballs. But before Pokeballs were invented, people used to walk with Pokemon just like your friend Lila does. Pokeballs are great because you can carry many Pokemon, but walking with Pokemon must have some advantages. It could not have something to do with how Pokemon grow and evolve. Or it could. Sorry, I don't know why I read that as couldn't. So I'm going to give you a Pokemon. Can you walk beside this Pokemon outside of the Pokeball to see if it brings any special feelings or bonds between the Pokemon and people? 
The device over there has some Pokemon you can choose from. Oh, there's a phone call. Oh, hey, I got an email. Hmm, uh, okay. Hey, listen. I have this acquaintance that people call Mr. Pokemon. He keeps finding weird things and raving about those discoveries. Anyway, I just got an email from him saying that this time it's real. It's probably another Pokemon egg, but we're still so busy with our Pokemon research. Wait, I know! You can go in our place, right? Can we count on you? You can choose one of the Pokemon over there. Okay, so obviously I've already been over this part, but there's one thing I need to do. I need to change my text speed because, yeah, and I'm gonna pick a different window. And I'm gonna go with this kind of like, um, this cloud one. Ooh, should I go with a cloud one or should I go with like a kind of this wintry one? I'm gonna go with the cloud, or actually I'll go with the spring looking one because we're about to spring, so let's let's look forward to spring together, shall we? Because winter's terrible, and I'm sick of it. Uh, I touch the Pokeball to see what happens. Okay, Chikorita, Totodile, and Cyndaquil. Um, get a... Oh. That's like a little noise. Ha, <laughs> I've never noticed that before. Alright, we're gonna pick our boy Totodile. Because, yes, I do want Totodile. Totodile is the choice. You received a Totodile from Professor Elm. Alright, first non... Um, first non-grass starter I've started with when playing a Pokemon game on the channel. Uh, yes, I have to nickname this Totodile. And I will be right back. I'm going to pick a name for my naming theme. Wow, guys, that took a long time. I'm sorry. Uh, I was looking for a name. But I'm going to name my Totodile finally. Can you guys guess the naming theme? Can you? Can you? Can you? Can you? Do you have it yet? Do you have it? The name is Shuriken! Shuriken the Totodile, and I am doing weapons in honor of Pokemon Sword and Shield, which I will be talking about on a podcast coming up this week. So look forward to that dropping on Saturday. Um, I'm going to be recording it sometime this week. I don't know when, but I'm going to be recording it sometime this week. Also, hopefully, I'll be recording another podcast at the end of March uh, that I'm super excited about. Also... If you haven't been following the uh, Just Newing Media page on Facebook, uh, the link's down in the description, I got a new desk, uh, so I'm super excited. I can fit like a ton of crap on it for all my recording stuff, like literally my mic's on here, my uh, remote for my recording software's on here, my timer's on here, my, uh, oh, that was, that was a slowdown. I think I heard the music slow down. Why don't you try it on? All right, yeah, I gotta go talk to my mom. Um, I was like, what am I reading right now? Um, anyways, yeah. Um, just so, like, it can fit so much stuff, and it's super nice to have a bigger desk, finally. Uh, shout out to my friend Connor, who helped me build it. So, well, we cut a dining room table in half, he put a brace in the back, and we threw my uh, drawers that I put underneath, so. Uh, yeah, well, I'm gonna put some drawers on it eventually, so hopefully that'll work out. So we're gonna, we're gonna take a look at doing that someday, but, uh, yes, I remember how to use it, even though you're gonna explain it to me again, because you're a jerk. Thanks, Mom. Thanks, Mom. Uh, anyways, let's check out my Totodile, because we haven't done that yet. Uh, Shuriken, what do you look like, brother? Adamant? That's actually really good. Um, I will take Adamant, for sure. I, I will take that. Uh, especially for a Totodile. That's not bad at all. I, I will take that. That's really good. That's really good. I will take that. An Adamant Totodile. That's really good. Alright, Shuriken's gonna be a beast. Shuriken doesn't seem used to its own name yet. Oh, Shuriken. Oh, the music is definitely slowing down one second uh... oh thank you professor elm for giving me your number wow thanks dude thanks bro let's see if it slows down in here maybe it's just because I don't have my other headphone in because... Okay, that sounds a little better, but I can't, like, hear myself. Oh. 
It's like... It's like it's going at like three-fourths speed. Oh, jeez. This is, uh, this is rough, but... I'll figure it out. Hopefully sooner than later. Okay, but it's not freezing so far, so that's good. Um, I will figure it out in between episodes for sure. I promise you guys, this will not be a recurring theme. I will figure it out in between episodes. Hopefully it is a minor issue, because, yeah. Oh, look, a Hoot Hoot. It's a Hoot Hoot. Maybe I can... I probably will just have to adjust the audio um, on my end. Well, duh, it's obviously on my end. It's not on your guys' end. No, you guys have to speed up the video, okay? You guys have to hit, uh, actually, you have to go to the gear and hit 1.5, so the video's a little bit faster. Oh, chug, chug, chug. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it, game. Okay, yeah. Oh, jeez. Okay, that audio issue's gonna annoy me, so I'm actually gonna go ahead and fix that real quick. So, I'm gonna be right back. Alright guys, I hope that works, um, otherwise I will screw with it in between episodes, I don't need to waste your guys' time, um, even though I'm just cutting it, but that's okay, because I've already been recording for like 30 minutes, <laughs> even though you guys have seen 12 minutes of it. Also, uh, off screen, I was testing it and Torao got a level and word water gun, so yeah, Torao got water gun. Also, one more thing I forgot to mention that I just thought about, uh, I had to go use the restroom real quick. But one more thing I just thought about. I'm going to be using Pokegen to evolve Pokemon. They have to meet the qualifications in order to be evolved. So I just can't, like, evolve a Geodude at, like, level 20 into a Graveler. Like, it obviously is going to evolve at 25 into a Graveler. And then at that point, I can put the Graveler into Pokegen and have it spit out a Golem. Obviously, I can't trade since I'm using a ROM. So, too bad. Uh, that's how I'm going to do it. If you guys don't like it, um... It's, I don't think it's too big of an issue, but um, it shouldn't be. It was either that or like modify the levels, and I didn't want to do that, so I just figured we would be as close to like a generic or like a genuine experience as possible. Yeah, I'm not wearing running shoes. I wonder if the music... Okay, that sounds a little more normal. Yeah, it sounds more normal when I have, like, both earbuds in. Because, like, so it's doing that thing where it's, like, dividing the audio up. And it might honestly be, like, beneficial to not have it in. But, like, at the same time, it's nice to have it in because, I mean, obviously, I want to hear what's going on, but... I mean, it's not too big of a deal. I could literally just have it out. I mean, I've heard these... I've heard this game so many times, it's not even funny, like... And, um, yeah, so I got him back to his house, a key item, I don't know why I hit that button. But let's explore town a little bit, um, I'm quite curious. Alright, what do you got, what do you got to say? Pokemon gain experience in battle and change their form, yes. Evolution! Um, I heard that each Pokemon has its own nature and has something to do with Pokemon stats. Yes. It does, you're right. And my boy Shuriken's got his own stats too. He's your boy. Your boy Shuriken! Alright, and that's the guide's house. Uh, we should go heal while we're here. Um, because we're gonna heal. Because that's the smart thing to do so we don't die. Because the Nuzlocke has not started yet because we have not got Pokeballs. Which will probably be a while. Hopefully I can get the running shoes and speed up this process instead of walking around like a loser all the time. Alright, thank you. Nurse Joy, one of like 20 million. Because you're doing a quality job there, Nurse Joy. Quality job. Not going into the shop. I don't think there's anything else too important here. I think the old rod might be here. I think it... No, I think it's in Violet City. Yeah, this guy's just all like... You're trying to see how good you are as a Pokemon trainer, visit, visit all the gyms, collect the badges. Uh, when I get older, I'm going to be a gym leader. I make my Pokemon battle with my friends to make them stronger. PETA's going to be on that, kid. I know it. Hashtag PETA. 
<laughs> I don't know how you do a hashtag in a video, but that's future Justin's problem. Thanks, brother. You got... I know, I know I make your life a lot harder, but it's fine. <sighs> I made it. I forgot about one thing. This is another token from me. Take it. The guide loaded a map card. Whoop! Select the map. Yep, I will probably use that from time to time. I wish you luck on your journey. Thank you. I'm going to slowly walk to my destination because I am slow and old. Ugh, dang it. I'm trying to like train my toad aisle too. So it's not like super weak for the spoiler alert fight against the redheaded boy coming up because I don't want that. Because that needs to happen. Well, oh, and also I have like a kink in my neck. I went to Cedar Falls to visit some friends last night. It's like a, it's a town, like probably about two hours away from where I live. But I have a, I have some friends that, well, a friend that lives up there, and her fiance was up there. We just kind of hung out. But I slept on the floor. So yeah, my neck has like a kink in it, and staring at my computer is not exactly fun. But I'm doing it anyway. I'm suffering for your benefit. You're welcome at home because I do this because I care about you as the viewer and I think it's really fun which is the reason I do it halfway or halfway <laughs> I don't know if halfway is a word but you wanna know what I don't care this is my channel I make the content I get to decide oh hey kiddo how in the world can you be so obvious oblivious to my eye-catching house hold it right there uh okay when you follow the path north, you will see Mr. Pokemon's house, but before, let me finish what I have to say. Do you have any apricorns? Apricorns trees bear fruit once per day, and you can use them to make Pokeballs from the Kurt guy that you'll meet in Azalea, but you haven't done that yet because you're a noob. So here's an apricot box. I'm not going to tell you what it does, but I, even though Justin already did, so have fun. Yay, apricots. I love apricots. Do people eat apricots? I don't know the answer to that. Apricots are fruit, right? Are apricots a fruit? On the website whfoods.com, they say, relatives to peaches, apricots are small, golden orange fruits with velvety skin and flesh, not too juicy but definitely smooth and sweet. To read more, look for the link in your Google Home app. Alright, so if anybody wants to more, know more about apricots, I'll put that link in the description. JK, I'm not going to put that link in the description, but man, Google has saved my butt so many times from looking like an idiot. Even though it's probably annoying for those of you that have like a smartphone or something. I should probably like cut out the part where I say like, key phrase here, so then it doesn't trigger your Google Home, or Google product, or tablet, or phone. Because I assume that's really annoying. That's why, like, a lot of the tech reviewers that I watch, yes, I lot, watch a lot of tech reviewers, spoiler alert, um, they, they, like, just put the phrase on screen instead of, like, actually saying it. Oh, there was a slowdown. Oh, there's a lot of stuff on screen. Ooh, that's a slowdown. Uh, I probably shouldn't be pointing out the slowdown, but oh well. Hopefully I can get it fixed in between episodes, because that'll be this will be a sad existence if it's slowdown after slowdown after slowdown after slowdown. Hey, it's an apricot tree. Yay, apricot. Pink apricot, alright. There's an apricot. Thanks, brother. Alright, cool. Let's go. Let's roll out. Ooh. All right, gotta give this guy a voice. You must be Justin. It was I who sent the email to Professor Elm earlier. This is what I want Professor Elm to examine. I got a mystery egg, woo! A friend of mine from Ecrotique gave this to me. I bet you can't find this kind of egg in Johto. I thought Professor Elm might be able to tell what it is. He's the best when it comes to the research of Pokemon evolution. That's a quote from the famous Professor Oak. You are returning to Professor Elm. Here, your Pokemon should have some rest. Thank you for healing my Totodile, weird guy. Alright, <clears throat> here he is. 
the man, the myth, the legend, Professor Oak! You were close! And with that, I'm Professor Oak, a Pokémon researcher. So, you're Justin. I was just visiting my friend Mr. Pokémon. I heard you were running an errand for Professor Elm. So I waited here. Oh, what is this? A rare Pokémon? I see you must be helping Professor Elm's research. I think I understand why Professor Elm gave you that Pokémon. You will treat your Pokémon with love and care, it seems. Ah, you seem to be dependable. How would you like to help me out? See, this is the latest version of the Pokédex. It automatically records data on Pokémon you've already seen or caught. It's a high-tech encyclopedia. I'd like you to have it. Mm. Professor Oak's voice hurts my throat. Go meet many kinds of Pokémon and collect, complete the Pokédex. But I've stayed too long. I have to get some Goldenrod for my usual radio show. Justin, I have a feeling that this is not the last time we'll meet. Let's exchange numbers just to be on the safe side, because I just gave you a Pokédex so I can probably predict the future, but why would we think about that? Thanks, Professor Oak. Peace out, brother. Ugh, wow. That was horrible on my throat. Alright. Oh! <clears throat> Hello, Justin? It's... It's a disaster! Um, um it, 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 it's just terrible! What should I do? It. Oh no! Please get back here now! Yay, we get to go call Professor Ohm and save his booty from somebody or something. Because he's all like, I'm Professor Ohm and I can't do anything because blah blah blah! I'm helpless. That's weird. Professor Ohm's a weird guy, but he does what he wants, he lives his best life. Hey! No slow down this time. Knock on wood, because my desk is made out of a fake wood, but it's wood nonetheless, because I think it's wood. I don't know, it's probably like a composite of some assortment. I could ask Connor and he could probably tell me and I'll throw it up on screen, probably not, because I don't think any of you care about the composite of my desk. Actually, I don't really care. I care that the desk is functioning and it stands. That's what I care about. Those are the real facts. The facts of life. Ooh, spoiler alert. Alright, let's go ahead and, uh, is my Totodile healed? Yeah, my Totodile has a perfect health. Let's go ahead and, uh, head back towards, uh, Newark Town. Oh no, what is happening? We are stopped by a random red-haired boy. You got a Pokemon at the lab? What a waste. That's a Pokemon that's too good for a wimp like you. Don't you get what I'm saying? Well, I too have a good Pokemon. I'll show you what I mean. Which is a Chikorita. <coughs> oh my gosh, that hurts my throat. You're challenged by Passerby Boy. Sends out his Chikorita. Rita, Rita, Rita. Is a Chikorita like a Margarita? Or is that like, are those different things? Can I drink this? I need a Margarita. Chikorita, you want to be like a nice frozen strawberry margarita? Oh, that sounds mighty good. Queen the fact- well, I'm like freezing right now, but... I just like- I like anything that like has that slushy consistency, like... Sign me up. I love slushies. Like, there was an ice cream shop that we went to all the time when I was a kid, because it was like, littered within walking distance of my house. Shout out to Evelyn Delights if you're listening. If you want to sponsor me, uh, go ahead. Um, I'll, I'll tweet you guys. Uh, you, I don't even know if you have a Twitter. I think it's run by you, like two old people. So uh, yeah. But anyways, uh, slushies. Slushies are good, and Shuriken learned rage, and slushies are delicious. If you take anything from away from this episode, it's that slushies are delicious. Do you want to know who I am? I'm going to be the world's greatest Pokemon trainer. Oh, okay. Aggressive, much? Oh no, what are you frazzled about? Give it back! That's my trainer card! Oh no, you saw my name! <gasps> I saw his name, except I'm not telling anybody because it's a secret! Wait, when did I get the running shoes? How long have I had those? <laughs> I've been too busy talking. Okay, well we're just gonna turn those on. I don't know why I was walking all through all that, but you wanna know what? I don't care. You guys were probably yelling at the screen being all like, hey, you were just complaining about not having the running shoes, and now you're not even paying attention that you have the running shoes. And I'm like, guys, I just enjoy spending time with you. Is there 
Is anything so wrong with that? Just spending time with my homies? Like you? Okay. Let's see what this- let's see what's in the lab, then we'll end off the episode. Who are you? We're investigating the case of the missing Pokémon here. Rule number one, whoever did it will come back to the site. Oh my, so you must be the one who did it. Oh no, it's Lyra. Hold on a sec, he has nothing to do with it. I saw it, there was a red-haired boy looking into the building. Uh... Oh... You battled a boy like that? He must be the one who did it. Did you happen to get his name? Oh, I did. I know his name, officer. You ready for this, guys? You ready for this boy's name? No, it's not Michael. That would be super boring if I named him Michael. Like, that would be really dumb. So I'm gonna name him something else. I'm gonna name him the name that he deserves. That is the name he deserves. The Accursed One. I see. So Nash was his name. Yes. Thank you for helping my investigation. My next assignment is to search for this red-headed individual. Gingers have soul. That's what Copper Cab taught me. Justin, I'm glad they under understand you are innocent. See you later. See ya. That's all I get. I don't know why I... Think of the Ned Z Classified School Survival Guide episode where Cookie dresses up as a girl and every time he like leaves the room he goes, See ya. Uh, huh? This is a egg, isn't it? This egg has something I've never seen. It's still just an egg. Mr. Pokemon is always fascinated by eggs. <laughs> well, since he gave it to us, we might as well find out what the secret holds. I'll keep it for a, I'll keep it for a while to find out about the egg. What? Professor Oak gave you a Pokedex? Justin, is that true? That, that, that's incredible! He's a superb at seeing the potential of Pokemon, of people as trainers. Wow, Justin, I knew you were a little different. Things are going to be very fun! I don't know why I sounded like Maximilian Pegasus all of a sudden, but I decided to change my voice and take the Pokemon Gym Challenge. If you manage to not have your Pokemon killed by all the gym leaders, you can eventually challenge the Pokemon League, where they will murder all your Pokemon, or not. Ha ha ha. Becoming the champion is not at all easy, but you can certainly challenge the Violet City Gym. I don't know why I sound like Maximilian Pegasus. Justin, Challenging the gyms scattered around will be a long journey. Before you leave, make sure to talk to your mom. Alright, on the next episode, we are going to go ahead and talk to my mother. And we're going to get permission to leave. And we're going to start this Nuzlocke. So yeah, I will talk to you guys in the next one. And I hope you have a good one. My name is Maximilian Pegasus. Kaiba boy.